start the best cake you've ever had before in your life. And it all starts with jello. And then with my boil here, pour in half. Look at the color, it looks cool. Push it right to the next. Lift up a little bit, keep going. Got to go in a little bit of cold water as well. Of course, I'm making Jello Classic, and this comes straight from the box. Then from here, very, very easy. Need to stir just a little bit with a whisk. Going to the next. So I have my fresh cake here, and I'm going to take a bowl to help cut it out. And all you have to do is push down into it to kind of form it. Once you get a little twist, so I'm going to pull my little inner LeBron. And so you need to push out three of these, and so I'm going to take two from each end. All right, so now we're going to go on, but we're going to flip it over, just like so. Take your fresh whipped cream, and you're going to start in the center. Squeeze, and then we're just going to rotate, just like so, so that we get one even layer because I'm gonna add some strawberries. And you're gonna push out the whipped cream. Just like so. So you can give it a little turn if you wanna go fast and we can play a game. I don't know if I can catch up with it. And I already have them measured out, my blueberries, and you're just gonna pour it right into the center. Here, grab this piece and you're just gonna push on. And we wanna make sure that everything is level. Once you're at this point, we have a really good buttercream. And this recipe you can find only on chefclub.tv. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna start rotating it around. And easiest thing you can do, take a ruler. Just kinda of look around your house. You can figure it out like I did. Now, we need another container to go on the side. So I have a cotton candy container that I've cut. And now with the leftover buttercream, what you're gonna do, you're gonna push it against the side and this is gonna insulate it for the next step whenever we have our jello. What you'll do, you'll get your jello and we need to go a little bit fast, but we're gonna start off with red on the bottom. So we're gonna pour it in. If you wanna get a better layer like I'm doing here, what you need to do is set it in the fridge every five minutes after pouring. But now I'm gonna start off with my red again for another layer. All right, so finishing off with the little line of red here. And now finally we have our last one, which is gonna be the yellow. All right, and I'm gonna pour the last right over the top. And so it's gonna fill in everything on the buttercream. And now we got a really cool layer on top. Wow. All right, so now it's time to go into the fridge, let it set for about five minutes. So now, right out of the fridge, I went ahead and cut the back. And so what this is gonna help me do is actually unmold it a little bit easier. You kinda see it unwrapping on itself and you have your Jello cake. Is that not cool? I think it's pretty cool. It looks great too, look at the lines. But of course, as always, we need to taste it. So let's go in. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. All right, so we have our Jello strawberry shortcake. A lot of different flavors going all the way through it. This is probably gonna be your next crowd pleaser. Go always in, right on top. Get a little bit of the Jello, get a little bit of the cake. Hands down, grandmother approved. So make sure you make this only on chefclub.tv.